given a probable maximum flood, there is the potential that the dam could either start to erode or have a potential breach. At that point, the reservoir would start to drain through Meander Creek and then into the Mahoning River. Depending on the speed that that were, were, were to happen, it could cause potential property and damage and then also the potential for loss of life. BusinessJournalDaily.com, Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. We're currently standing on the Meander Dam, which is the reservoir for the Mahoning Valley Sanitary District. It was built in the late 1920s into 1931. It currently uh, holds a capacity of 11 billion gallons. It was built to 1920s design technology. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources is concerned that in the event of a uh, climate catastrophe, they have a term called a probable maximum flood, that there could be 19 inches of rain that would fall here in 24 hours. They do not believe the dam under those circumstances would be structurally sound. We have a construction plan in place. It's going to cost $40 million. We are currently here today to try to get support. We're going to the federal government for FEMA to get a $30 million grant. We have to show that for every dollar we invest into a rehabilitation of this infrastructure project, we get back an equal dollar uh, and, and, and benefit. So. Um, FEMA does have a completely online process here that establishes what those, benefit are, what those benefits are associated with a loss of life or power loss for a day or a month, uh, water supply not being available. All of these are basically baked into a formula to arrive at a benefit cost ratio. We need to find a way to find a benefit that's greater than $41 million. It's a two-step process. We need to go through Columbus, FEMA, and then it would get authorized to go to the federal level. All of the local constituents, business members, community members, politi local politicians are here. We're trying to get all the <laughs> stakeholders involved to go to Columbus to give us support so that we can make it over that threshold to the federal level. This dam and the spillways have to be able to handle a problem of maximum flood. If they're not able to handle that, you could lose the spillways and the dam and, and lose your water source. So the, the importance of this project is to make sure this dam will hold up under a problem maximum flood event or, or something maybe less than the problem maximum flood if it gets so, water gets so high that it can impact the, the dam and their spillways. Given a probable maximum flood, there is the potential that the dam could either start to erode or have a potential breach. At that point, the reservoir would start to drain through Meander Creek and then into the Mahoning River. Depending on the speed that that were, were, were to happen, it could cause potential property and damage and then also the potential for loss of life. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com. Businessjournaldaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.